Hey guys, how's it going? Greg here. Today I wanted to talk to you about some of the Google Analytics certificates on Coursera. I was getting a lot of questions on what you should take at what time, which option is best for my particular scenario and my goals. And so I wanted to try and answer those questions as well. Thank you to Coursera for sponsoring this video. So the main three are Google Business Intelligence, Google Data Analytics, and Google Advanced Data Analytics. Now, I haven't really talked about the Business Intelligence one because it's not something that I personally do a whole lot of. It's definitely analytics, but it's sort of geared analytics in a particular role, so much so that there are many jobs that are literally titled Business Intelligence Analyst or also Business Analyst. If you don't know what Business Intelligence is and you don't know if it's right for you, well, if you like these skills as well as BigQuery will take you far whether you like BI or not, as well as SQL. There's actually a lot of stuff in here that's going to be just generally versatile, as well as, you know, the ETL process and data analysis. So I'm not trying to say that once you take the business intelligence certificate, you can't possibly do anything else. However, it does kind of gear your resume in a particular way. And so if you are going to advertise these certificates and stuff on your LinkedIn, a lot of people that are doing AI and stuff like that, they're not really going to care a whole lot about the business intelligence. They'll recognize that say SQL is still a relevant skill for well anything. If you are putting this certificate on your resume or on your LinkedIn, you would really, really want to do that if you are applying to data analyst and business intelligence roles. If you are being a data analyst, then I would highly recommend this. There is a more complicated relationship between the analytics certificate and the advanced analytics certificate. And while I do kind of agree that this is the beginner one, and then you would transition to the advanced level, it's a little bit funny because they're implying implicitly in this that R is a programming language, which is used for the data analytics certificate. It's a programming language for beginners. And then the advanced version says, oh, well, advanced people don't use R, they use Python. While I'm not gonna get mad at this because I actually largely agree, basically just what happened in the data landscape is that R has gotten a little less popular than Python recently. And so given that the advanced one is more recent than the data analyst one, this one is in R and this one transitioned to Python. I do think it's useful to learn multiple languages to get a feel for things. You'll see why R is better than Python in some ways. You'll see why Python is better than R in other ways. That's okay. You'll notice that with the advanced one, they're actually largely trying to shift you towards machine learning. If that's not something that interests you, then don't feel like just because you're trying to be a data analyst, you should take the advanced data analytics certificate. Actually, this is kind of just prepping you for machine learning. And if you like R and SQL and Tableau and all the stuff that you learned in this, people love it and there's tons of jobs in that, then just stick with this and there's no need to take the advanced one. If you are doing Python and machine learning, you would definitely want to take the advanced one. I hope that helps. I'd be happy to answer questions that come up in the comments. And thanks so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it and have a great day.